flight was what, two hours? Uh -huh. Our flight was what, two hours? No, it was like, it was an hour. It was a quick flight. You mean two hours? Because every time I was looking at it. The, whole, the flight itself was an hour 14, but it took about two hours to get one hour. Uh, headed to the hotel now once our Uber driver gets here. Uh, we'll see if we get a corner view like we did last time. Um, if not, you'll Hopefully. see what room we get. Two years ago, and they were like, yeah, we upgraded Joe's room to a corner room. And I was like, oh, fantastic. So, hopefully that happens again, but if not, whatever. Yeah. At least we got a room. We're in Chicago, that's all that matters. Yeah. Where are we at? And what are we about to do? We're about to go tour Wrigley Field. Which, why are you filming me for that part? You're... Don't turn it down <laughs> when you're filming. We are walking on the Wrigley Field. Come on in, folks. Guess I'll be glad to take photos for you if you'd like. Easiest question of all, all today. What's the oldest ballpark in Major League Baseball? Fenway. Fenway Park in Boston. It was built in 1912. We were bought, uh, built in 1914. Does anybody know the third oldest? Dodger Stadium. 1962, folks. 48 years between number two and number three. So you can see, guys, how it's vitally important to keep the history alive here at Wrigley. And you guys keep it alive in Fenway. Once they're gone, they're gone worst down in St. Louis. Can you imagine that? <laughs> so we didn't make the, long story short, we didn't make the World Series that year. But now we knew we had to get lights. It took four more years to get those lights. A lot of lawsuits back and forth with the neighborhood, the Cubs, the city of Chicago. Finally it was agreed we could have 18 night games. Now we're up to about 35, give or take. Tonight's a very rare occur occurrence, a Friday night game here. Never happens. In fact, weekend games on nights very rarely happen here. Because that was part of the deal with the neighborhood. You bring all the fans in here, they're not out at the bars and the restaurants around Ridleyville here. Tonight's a special occasion. Um, and Jacob, one of our tour guides, looked it up. I'm like, why are we playing tonight? All games tonight, after all after the All-Star break, all the games are night games. I never realized that. News to me. Learn something new every day. Alright, so we gotta get those lights. So 1988 is what we're supposed to have. Our first game is supposed to be August 8, 1988. 8888. The game starts. Our second baseman Ryan Sandberg gets a two-run home run. Things are looking great. The skies open up. Bring that game out. Harry Carey says, maybe God doesn't want there to be nighttime baseball <laughs> Well, the very next night, we played the Mets. We won that game 6-4. to four. So it was the very first men's Major League Baseball game under the lights here at Wrigley. I said men for a reason. So, yeah, as you can tell, we just got done with the Wrigley tour. Maddie had to fight back some tears a couple times with stepping onto Wrigley and seeing Wrigley in general. Oh, so pretty. Uh, you're gonna, you cannot say anything. You're gonna be the same way when we go to Fenway. Oh, I know. Year. And I'll probably pay whatever amount of money to do, to a do the tour. tour. Yeah. I'm about to say, you laugh at me now and you judge me now, but when we set foot in Fenway, everything is gonna be just fine. Everything's just fine. Now we're going to eat. We're hungry. We're thirsty. And the game is not for another five hours. Five hours. Five hours. We gotta find something to do for five hours after we eat. I mean, technically, two, two and a half, because the, the gates open like an hour and a half before. Yeah. Try to get some BP. 
Yeah, this one's hoping that she'll either get a ball or get an autograph or both. Uh, but yeah, we're about to go eat because uh, we're hungry. Getting ready to do. Going to game. Yeah, about 15 minutes or so left, and we're going to see the Red Sox versus the Cubs. Uh, I hope the Red Sox win. I definitely think the Red Sox are going to win. Oh, that was a party foul. Uh, I'm not going to turn the camera on the party foul because I'm not trying to get yelled at. There we go. Party foul. Speak a wise one. <laughs> I love when people are just tall enough to where they fit in the bottom frame of my camera when I'm trying to take a picture. And I gotta wait for the tall asses to get out of the way. <laughs> it makes life so much more fun. You ready to see something different?